What you Does it tickle? Daddy? Yeah. Sure, right. mommy. Okay, come. Let's take her to the veggie garden so she can eat the aphids. Good work, my boy. Hairy. Come on. Let's take him to the veggie garden. Hairy. Okay. All right. So you got a hair. There you go. Well done. And this is a hand. Is it a ladybird? Mommy, I'm the veggie garden. Okay, let's go to the veggie garden. Ladybird! Watch, watch, watch. Is she going to eat her breakfast? The hope is that lovely lady ladybug finds these naughty little things. You are eating my beans. Come on, lady. Work your business. Anyway, mission accomplished. Ladybird in position on bean with aphids. Um, hopefully she's happy there. All right, she's gonna get out of my pajamas. Get on with the day. High time to let this lot out as well. Come on then, you troublesome four. Out you come. Go and see what mischief you can get up to today. And then my feet, you beautiful boy. Hey. Hey, there we go. Off you go. Have a good day, babies. My girls. Do not eat the ladybird. Do you hear me? Good. Behind me is the oat field. The oats, unfortunately, aren't doing very well at the moment. There's all this grass and weeds and gnarly stuff that. Our next door neighbours, Joao and Armando, are telling us is becoming a real problem. So we've got work to do on this field, um, quite different from how the vegetable garden is going. In the corner down here, when we were digging around and removing all the brambles, we found this pipe here. There we go. That right there is gravity fed water from the spring, which is the highest point on our farm, which is right next to the couch swimming pool, which delivers most of our water to the farm. The well, of course, right next to this. That sounds like we might be having a first egg. Pretty confident on that one. Okay. Anyway, just very quickly before we go and check that out. When, when the spring water isn't being fed into our knot garage where the cistern is, there is this overflow pipe right here. Now, that overflow pipe sends water to a place where we're almost finished, waiting for Mario to come and help us finish digging our reservoir. But when that reservoir is full, the water drops off down there into the ether, into the middle of nowhere. But since the chickens have interrupted very unceremoniously my little bit of filming here, we should go and have a quick look and see how they're getting on. I think we might have an egg, everybody. No way. Quick, 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 Crusoe. You yeah. Let's go look, let's go look. <laughs> Such a learn how to get out somehow. Who was cocking it? Who was making the noise? I don't know. Yeah. All right, big moment, ladies. Where is the chicken coop? Is there an egg inside there? Uh, no. Oh my god, we've got three! <laughs> really? 
<laughs> Six, Six, three, yes. <laughs> I wonder, it was blooming noisy. It's a high five. Yeah. <laughs> They're laying. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, look at girl. Look. Look at me. Can you see them? Where did your mommy get it? You want me to get them? No. <sighs> <laughs> That's fab. <laughs> That's absolutely fab. I didn't hear the other ones come. No, me neither. That one looks like it's very, very fresh. Isn't that exciting? Okay, what are we going to do with the eggs, Crusoe? Yeah. Okay, well, just don't drop it, okay? What are we going to do with the eggs? I'll take the digger. You take an egg. Should we go? Should we go and put them in the kitchen? Oh. Don't drop it, buddy, because it break. That's amazing. Love the eggs, Mommy. Love the eggs. Did we get eggs? Yeah, in the chicken coop. In the chicken coop? Yeah. 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 What's that? It's an egg. What's that? We got eggs. We have chickens that lay eggs. This is so exciting. It's a big moment, man. Drop it. Don't drop it. Oh, did it break? Okay. That was inevitable, really. Oh dear, Crusoe. Oh dear. Oh dear. I do mommy to take it? No, sister. Should we try and cook it now? Do you want to try cook it? No. Come on then, let's go see. Shame. Shame. <laughs> He's got more Zimbabwe. Come on then, let's go see what's inside the The chickens gave it to us, Crusoe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when it's cooked. Oh, yum, yum. Look at that yolk. I am very proud of our chickens for that. Is it ready, Crusoe? Yeah. Shall I get it out? Yeah. Are you going to eat it? Yeah. Yum, yum. Who gave you the egg? The chicken. The chickens? Which chicken? Zaza. Was it Zaza? Yeah. Did you say thank you? Did you say obrigado? Good boy. Oh, yummy. Is it yummy? I'm um, taking a fork. You need a fork, do you? Got an egg. Got an egg. Are you going to taste it? It's delicious. Is it delicious? Say, obrigado, Sadza. <laughs> well, that is a pretty big moment. Isn't it, bud? Our very own eggs from our very own chickens. Mm. All right, well, that was very exciting, wasn't it, everybody? We finally got eggs from our chickens. Brilliant. Um, a lot more successful than the current oat field. But the plan now is we've just talked about the spring and the overflow and the fact that if this or any of the other pipes that are connected to the spring are not running, then the water defaults that overflow and just disappears. So the plan is take this pipe here, connect onto it so that we can then pipe gravity fed water down to the lawn and the flowers down there so that we don't have to run a pump in order to pump the water onto the lawn and onto the flowers, which is what we're currently doing at the moment. Um, so why would we do that? Well, we just don't have to turn on any electricity then. It's all just gravity fed water going straight down there. Also, this water is water that is just basically not being used anywhere on the farm and is just disappearing. So let's use it. Let's make the best of it. It should be a fairly simple task. I've got 100 meters worth of pipe. I've got a couple of connectors. Let's get on with it. Okay, rather than 
redig a whole trench all the way across this field. I'm going to put the pipe in here, which is our stormwater overflow pipe that, um, that Mario put in quite recently. It's never been used yet, but um, I just figure this might be the, the best and easiest way to do it. I managed to get that pipe through there, good news. And I've connected it up to the old pipe over in that corner there, which is the gravity fed stream. So basically in effect, with a little bit of luck now, we should have gravity fed water from the very highest point on the farm, about, I don't know, 200 meters away, all the way down to here, which is gonna be great for when we wanna water the grapevines. I'm gonna put on a couple of extenders to come off of there so we can get all the way around this field but also now running underground in the trench that Mario dug for our drainage for our storm drainage um, a few months ago all the way to just over there to the top of the lawn now my fingers are really crossed because if that works there'll be water pouring out of there that we can just use to water everything almost on the entire farm without a pump, unless we absolutely have to. So, yes, have a look at this. That's a pretty solid flow, I'd say, coming out of there. And there is the lawn. So, this is good timing. That's fab. Okay, that's what I call success today. Um, there's a lot more plumbing work to be done there, um, but I think the hardest bit's pretty much done. Oh, I got pretty hot and sweaty doing that. Um, and the thunder, which is away over on those hills over there, hasn't quite made it all the way over here yet, which is a shame because we could do with some rain. Anyway, that overflow pipe we were looking at earlier, right there, has stopped. So basically what I've done is I've moved the overflow from here behind the greenhouse down to the lawn area. Um, a lot more useful for the minute anyway. When Mario comes and digs that, um, digs the rest of the pond, it'll be a different matter altogether for sure. In the morning when I get up, I wish that we could stop and take each day. In the evening, when I get home, always hope to find you all alone and out of harm's way. Every time I look around, I hope to find you looking back at me. You're everything I ever hope to see. In the morning, when I get up, Wish that we could stop and take each day In the evening when I get home Always hope to find you all alone and out of harm's way In the morning when I get up, I 
wish that we could stop Wish that we could stop Okay, rained last night, not mega, mega rain like we've seen here before, but it rained enough anyway, just to lighten the air and make everything feel a little bit less sticky. And um, you know that feeling when it's just, you know, it should rain. Anyway, we've got blue skies today, beautiful blue skies. I've been down here this morning just to give the lawn a bit of a mow after that rain, it's starting to look a little bit fresher for sure. And here we go. This is what I did yesterday. Um, it's it ran out basically it ran out of water last night um it shouldn't have just run out of water <laughs> Hang on a minute. maybe it's trying to climb back up it is gravity fed um it's not pouring out loads and loads of water right now um but it's pouring out there you go it's pouring out enough it's pouring out a little bit um just to be ticking along so plan is just to let that roll out some water at the top of the lawn and then soak into the soil for a little while. Um, next job, biggest job for today anyway, I'm going back to that pond. Mario still hasn't told us whether he's gonna come back and help us out, finish digging that, but we've started to feel the urgency of it now. Um, you know, we need to get that pond filled up with that 100,000 liters of water and the springs are starting to run a little bit dry. Anyway, next, um, next project, we'll be head over that direction and tame the bamboo because there's a lot of it that's popped up Oh my goodness, I mean guys, this place is a disaster, hectic doesn't even begin, have a look at this, wow, you can barely see the pond that we're digging. Completely overgrown and you know this bamboo that's shot up well, literally in the last few weeks, head height, you know, same height as me. This is gonna be a really satisfying job, you know, getting rid of all of this horrible stuff that's just kind of getting in the way. Also, the recent storm blew down a tree right there. Tara thinks I chopped it down when she wasn't looking, but that's not true, it was actually the wind. Um, but now that it's gone, it allows a lot more sun to get to the, the vegetable patch, which is a really good thing. So thank you very much, wind. Um, as, Tara, as Tara will quite often say, serendipitous, that that would fall down because it's actually in our favour. Behind me, you can see the overflow water pipe right there, just below those two trees that are coming down in the middle of the frame. Um, that stopped running entirely at the moment because all of that water is now heading down towards the lawn. Fantastic. All right, let's get on. Enough chatting. Barbara, I'm sorry, chatting too much. I'll crack on and do some work. Um, shall we time lapse this? It could be a pretty satisfying time lapse to watch. I, for one, am very excited.
Take that, bamboo. Good morning. Well, it's been quite a busy couple of weeks with irrigation systems on the farm and I think we've made some incredible progress. So we're feeling pretty pleased. And to kind of wrap it all up, I wanted to go back a couple of episodes to when my cousin Nicole and I were digging around on the vegetable garden, trying to come up with a system that would allow us to water the vegetables without pipes. Hello, my boy. Um, and we wanted to be able to switch on the tap and for it to run through channels and water everything gently by saturating the soil and kind of doing it all the way it has been done, but with a bit more efficiency. Now, I fully admitted in that video that I don't have the most practical mind, so I'm not very good at thinking of solutions. But anyway, luckily, we do have someone who is good at thinking of solutions and the incredible Joao came over um, on the weekend and basically just solved all of the problems and has set up the most incredible system. So I'm excited to share it with you because I think you'll all be impressed by it. Um, I think a few people commented that this is like the traditional way of watering and also the traditional way of watering in um, Africa. So yeah, it's really cool. It feels very kind of natural and organic and efficient as well, which is what we're going to need because our water stuff, our water sources are a little bit shaky. What are you up to, Mr. Man? Oh, he got it. What did you get? A strawberry? Yeah. Was it ready? Was it? Yeah. <laughs> Cheeky. So the whole family's come out this morning to give the vegetables a water. We and have. we are hopeful that according to the weather report from tomorrow, we might start getting a little bit of rain. So fingers crossed. Every day rain as well. Every day rain. Mm, for a week. For a week? Yeah. Goodness me. Yeah. Can't wait. All right, cool. So we need to go and get a power box so that we can switch on the pump. So this little patch of beans is the most obvious patch that Joelle sorted out. And basically what he did was, he dug a channel all the way from the water source into the, the land, <laughs> into the land, and he's dug a channel alongside every row of beans so that the water runs next to the beans and, and everybody gets lots of water. Um, it just looks amazing and super efficient. And as you walk around the garden, you can see all the channels that he's dug to kind of get everything to every single place that we've planted something in this garden. I also found it really interesting that he did it retrospectively, you know, so that you can see where the beans have been planted so that you can dig the rows. Um, he's done it up at the top with the sweet potatoes and the aubergines. And it's just, yeah, it's made life a whole lot easier. So I'm delighted. plan is to give everything a really good water. I think we're getting up to 27 degrees today, then tomorrow only up to 21. Um, so if I give everything a really good watering, it'll get it through the lovely hot day today. And then tomorrow, hopefully, we'll start getting a little bit of this rain.
every line of beans has a channel. So all I gotta do now, that one's got enough now, so just lock this one off. And off it goes down there. So that one's done. Lock this one off. So this little patch up here is our biggest challenge for a couple of different reasons. The first one being that we're trying to grow watermelons. <laughs> Both of the boys are a obsessed with watermelons. Chris, if we're going to the supermarket and he sees it, well, we're not leaving without it. And they're jolly expensive. So uh, eh, we were, we're trying to grow watermelons so that we can um, service their watermelon needs without having to kind of remortgage anything. In that hole. That's it. Well done. Not on the, not on the plant. Make sure it's at the top yet. Look, put it over here. This is the really magic one because once we start watering the lettuces, it literally flows throughout the entire <laughs> So watch this. From here, where's my buds at? All the way over there. But basically, the water's going to come down this last lettuce, and I can either direct it into the onions, or into the beans, or let it run all the way down through the cucumbers and down towards the tomatoes. So I usually let it start with the tomatoes and the peppers, and then start blocking it off as we come up. Although I think that's silly because this is the top line of lettuce. So let me block this off now. Chickens are like, yes, come on. Right, I'm gonna send this down the onions first. It's a great little system we've got going on here with this watering and it really doesn't take very long like Tara said 20 minutes maybe half an hour for the entire vegetable patch. I would say in terms of looking after the water and being very careful with the water it's probably not the best system. Um, certainly not as good as a drip feed system where you'd be drip feeding at the roots of each plant for example but to set something up like that is quite expensive and also if you consider 
every year we're going to want to replow this field, redo it and replant it. It's something that couldn't just be a static system. It would need to be ongoing and constantly changing and lifted up at the end of every season and put back again a huge amount of work. So what we're going to do is see this year how much water we've got, how that water lasts, whether it lasts well um, using this system, which is in the area, the traditional system for watering the crops. This is how everybody does it. And no matter what happens, if you look at this vegetable patch right now and the amount of produce that we've got coming up out of the ground, it's definitely working what we're doing right here now. Tara's spending hours every day up here, keeping an eye on it, looking at it, watering it, making sure that this is something that's going to succeed. Um, and with the help of Joao at the weekends, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna have so much produce. Brilliant. So next up for our day, next little project for our day is to go and get some more animals for the farm. Yeah. Big moment, everybody. Absolutely is. It's got something to do with water. So if anybody's got any guesses what they are, pop them in the comments below and make sure that you tune in on Sunday to see who's come to join the fun. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We're off to go and pick them up right now. Yep. Sawyer's just dropped his dummy. In the mud. If you've been wondering why the camera shots on this particular segment have been a little bit jittery and all over the place, Sawyer's um, had a banana for breakfast and it's obviously gone straight to his head. <laughs> Wild times, eh, buddy? <laughs> Wild times. Um, remember, uh, like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Um, be brave, think big and explore. Thanks, folks. Thank you for being here as always and we will see you on Sunday. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thanks a lot, guys. Where's Crusoe? There he is. What are you doing, Crusoe? I'm excavating. Digging in the puddle. You got the heart that is bigger than the sun. You got the smile that is wider than the fun. Whatever you imagine will come true. Whatever you wish upon a star will do. And there is only one thing you should really love. It is your heart when it seems up above. Hey, you over there. Time to get up and make the world shine It's time to get back to feeling so fine You can dance or sing or you can sing or dance